Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Pragna Chigurpati Nara and today I'm going to talk to you about something quite different from Breast Intentions, which is my web series. Uh, today is about my experience with COVID. Yes, I did get it. In the beginning of the pandemic, around March and April, I began being extremely cautious, following all the norms that was put out to us. And I did continue, and I still am continuing it till date. But unfortunately, my belief that I was superwoman did not fall through. COVID did hit me, and it was quite a different experience for me. So it all began around the Diwali weekend, when I felt this wave of exhaustion all through the weekend. But it was Diwali, right? So I pushed myself through the Saturday, and Sunday all that I did was sleep. On Monday morning when I reached the hospital, I felt extremely sick. I had a fever, a headache, body aches, just tiredness throughout the day. I decided to just leave and thankfully I had no appointments that day. I decided to test and then I went home. That evening, I realized that I was COVID positive. So the first thing I did after getting my result was to call every single person who was with me over the Diwali weekend to warn them to quarantine or to test themselves in the next couple of days. On the next day, I went to the hospital to get all my radiological and blood investigations done. And um, as per the advice of my doctor, I did, get, I did need to get admitted. Over the span of the next couple of days, I had to get my IV remdesivir and all the entire milieu of medication that we know today. Thankfully, on day 5, I was discharged back for home quarantine. As happy as I was to get back home, the real struggle began then. I tried doing things for myself inside my room, but I wasn't even able to get from one end of the room to the other without getting tired. And this continued till day 14. When I decided to get tested again on day 14, it turned out to be positive, again. Although I knew I was not infective post day 14 as per the theory that we have today, I didn't want to take a risk. So I continued to quarantine myself in the room. Finally, on day 18, my test turned out to be negative. Yay! As happy as I was to turn negative, the weakness continued and it still continues till date. The reason I decided to share this experience with you is because although I did follow all the measures such as my face mask, hand sanitizer, face shield, both in the hospital and when I went out, somehow the bugger got in. The struggle with COVID is real. As healthcare workers, obviously, we're out there and we're more prone to this virus. My advice to you is, please continue sanitizing your hands. Wear your face mask every single time you're outside. Obviously, for anyone going to the hospital, make sure you have your face mask and preferably a face shield as well. Maintain six feet distance between any one person. Try to avoid crowds. And most important of all, read. Try to understand all the symptoms of COVID. And if you experience anything, reach out to any doctor close to you and get your test done. When I finally tested negative, my family decided to get me this little badge which says I beat COVID and I wear it proudly anywhere I go. What you should also know is that you're, you're only human. Weakness post COVID is a real thing. You will feel extremely tired even while walking a short distance. So please make sure that you have a good nutritious diet Keep up a little bit of exercise per day, which is also just to maintain your lung function. And take all your multivitamins as per your doctor's advice. Good luck. I hope none of you have to go through this COVID and we get the vaccine as soon as possible. But if you do, please be vigilant and stay safe. Thank you. Also, a big, big thanks to my mother, my father, my husband, my sister, the rest of my family, and most importantly, the doctors, Dr. Vishal, Dr. Nageshwar Reddy, and TVS Rajgaru from AIG Hospitals for helping me see this through. Thank you so much.